The Causeway Coast, as this area is known, is an area of great natural beauty, and the first thing which strikes visitors to Ballantoy is the panoramic views of Rathlin Island, the Mull of Kintyre in Scotland, and the ever-changing blue Atlantic Ocean. Further on round the coast it is only 13 miles to the shores of Scotland, and from here the waves can clearly be seen lapping that shoreline. Picturesque Ballantoy Harbour, only a few minutes away from the hotel, attracts thousands of tourists each year, and will captivate you while you indulge yourself further with a refreshing drink, a tasty bar snack, or a meal from our a la carte menu, which is available each day from 12 noon until 9pm. Fresh fish is available daily. The Causeway Coast is a magnet for sightseers, with many famous landmarks for the visitor to admire. The Giant's Causeway, a 15 minute drive from Ballantoy, is Northern Ireland's most famous tourist attraction. Geologists would have us believe that the numerous basalt columns that make up the Giant's Causeway were caused by volcanic eruptions and cooling lava some 60 million years ago. What really happened was that the giant Finn McCool built the causeway so that he could visit his girlfriend in Scotland without getting his feet wet. Finn is also reputed to have built this giant organ for his son Oshin to play upon and accompany his songs. Boring science or thrilling folklore? You decide. The causeway is one of the few sites on the Antrim coast where you will always find visitors. It is open all the year round, car parking costs £3, and a small bus is available to take visitors down to the Grand Causeway. Not far from the Giant's Causeway is Dunluce Castle, and while not being the oldest castle in Ulster, it is certainly the most impressive. The cliffs are a hundred feet above the sea, and the castle walls are built flush with the cliff face making it almost impossible for attackers to scale. About 1639, the Earl of Antrim's wife, by all accounts a great lady for entertaining, had about 30 guests in for dinner. During dinner there was a resounding crash. The kitchen, the cook and eight servants had disappeared to their deaths into the raging sea below. That sad event ended the entertaining for Lady Antrim refused to stay in the castle another night. Some 51 years earlier, on the night of October the 26th, 1588, the largest ship of the Spanish Armada, the Girona, laden with gold and silver, struck rocks and sank close to here. Of 1300 men on board, only five survived. The wreck of the Girona wasn't located until 1967, when a team of Belgian divers brought a thousand objects to the shore, including gold, silver, the ship's anchor, guns and cannonballs, all of which can be seen in the Ulster Museum in Belfast. The present Lord Dunluce, who lives in Glenarm Castle, was pleased to show us this large trunk washed ashore over 400 years ago and said to have come from the Girona. Just around the corner from Ballantoy village is the Carrick a Reed rope bridge. The word Carrick a Reed means the rock in the passageway and refers to the path taken by the salmon as they make their way back to the rivers of their birth to spawn. First erected 250 years ago to enable the fishermen to get to their work, the rope bridge is 90 feet above the sea, and crossing it is not a task for the light-headed nor the faint-hearted. One should take comfort, however, that in two and a half centuries only a dog has fallen off, and that was in the days when there was only a single side rope to hold on to. Crossing the bridge is commonplace today, and after the Causeway and Dunluce Castle, Carrick a Reed Rope Bridge attracts the most visitors to this fascinating corner of Ireland.
I've traveled far throughout this world I've sailed the seven seas When the wonder first takes hold of me I travel where I please But there is one spot I can't forget No matter where I stray It's the lovely coast of Antrim By the shores of White Park Bay I love to stroll along the strand And hear the seabirds call By the lofty cliffs of Bendor Head Stand stately over all Or watch the sea in angry mood And listen to the roar Of the breakers as they tumble While racing to the shore From down beneath the limestone cliffs Towards a clear crazy stream The view from high above the dunes It is the artist's dream The blue bell and the primrose They are their colours gay And the waves caress the golden sands By lovely white park bay If you could see this lovely place When the summer breeze blow And watch the little fishing boats Go sailing to and fro And when the evening shadows fall Young lovers fondly stray And watch the golden setting sun on lovely white on May. The leaving of this lovely place, it fills my heart with pain. And picturesque Port Breton I may never see again. But if by chance I wander back at the closing of my day, I would like to make my heaven by the shores of White Park Bay. 